in this unity video you're gonna learn this fade text animation and how it's being done you see it's done quickly now first of all thing is you need go to your ui add a ui text mesh pro okay name it something that being said write whatever you want in your text and make it somehow thousand so that it can fit on your you know you think and if you want like fonts of your own to use yourself fonts in your game you do you so that it can make a good great look to your game what you can do is that's easy let me show you okay i just customizing the font nothing else what you can do is you can add your otf and ttf file into this folder and then just right click create and font asset it will convert your font into the into this whole file and you know otf and tt file are directly not supported by text mesh pro it only take this blue files so that being said uh, nicely we have done our text now we go to animation of an animator thing if you don't have these things you can add it from over here okay uh, go to your animation create the animations make sure you assign your folder this is not necessary but if you do that would be great let's uh, make three of them idle and make the property uh, color you see that color animation and go to your where it is this something and make sure you put you you know if you join this red button and create your alpha zero uh, control C and control V Control A, Control C again. Make a fade out one. Uh, paste that and okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this single one. Single one, select Control C and make another one. Fade in. Uh, Control V that goes there and make sure you know this timing you can select it by your own how much time you want your text to appear uh, this make sure it one so that text is visible okay I didn't think this is on uh, one okay that's on and on that's okay the animation stuff is done let's go to animator make sure default is idle make transition to the fade in not fade out and then fade out and again from fade out to fade in now we have assigned some bool first of all is gonna be text fade and the next one is gonna be text fade out make sure you write exactly according to the script I will show you in a second let's just assign things assign text fade and to uh, uh, disable these things uh okay the coming back thing make sure it's true watch closely to learn and go to first thing this one you have to make fade out okay so that being said disable these things our animator animation stuff is done the last thing you might want to do is go to idle and close you know toggle off this idle loop time or else it's gonna be just loop loop everywhere uh, where are these idle fade in and fade out make sure every text is you know a switch off that's all done in this thing and now we go to scripting whenever you I will have the link of the script in the description and you can download it and don't just import your uh, the script in your unity for sometimes I see that bug is there it doesn't work quite nicely so what you do is make the control create and make a new c sharp script and then copy paste the things in here this is a simple script there's nothing much to be you know afraid of and no, um, not complex things uh, so first of all we have to describe a public animator text anim you can name it this anything so this is have to be something that script can take and what animation and anima animation it has to place then we use the start quarantine function this fading you can name anything but you have to write same in over here fading fading and uh, don't worry if you write this thing it will come but if you write the full code the errors won't be showing up over here 
the next thing we go in yield return new wait for second this function what does in in i numerator it waits for three seconds and then it uh, then it executes this thing then it again waits for three seconds then it executes this thing i which uh, i was telling about you writing the test thing same so that it works okay you see things in the same animator text fade text fade out text fade text fade out make sure to write the same and if you want like not in the start function you can write it if statement and whenever you want it to happen you can put that start quarantine over there and you don't have to change this i numerator any any you know you can just leave it to the place you can write this script in your complex script also and make it fun when the door opens or something like that okay so the scripting is done now we just assign the variable and where it is just you know you can assign this script to anything you want it's just gonna work okay uh where is this open sound no this something animator it will take automatically just assign that and just we play one two three and it's done that's how it's being done if you so far in this video or uh, next video is gonna come about the uh, door slam thing and if you are like you know if you want to watch that you can hit the subscribe button and that bell icon also so that you don't miss that update and i think that's all for this video if you find this video helpful make sure to hit that like button thanks for watching